Well, how are we doing? Um, this is a different intro to what I normally do. Um, out of respect for such a sad day yesterday with the news of our lovely Queen passing. I did have another video to put on today, but I couldn't put it on because I filmed it a few days ago and obviously it's, it's completely different to this. And I thought it's not right. I have to say a few words um, in light of what's happened. Obviously, it's very, very sad, sad news. So sudden. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not going live tonight because of respect for what's happened. And, and I don't feel in the mood to party and enjoy myself. Um, but the show must go on, uh, so this video will go on. So I have been shopping and I've been to Tesco, so come and have a look at what I've got. So this was a recommendation a long time ago uh, and I have just got round to it, never had one before. It's a hunger breaks all day breakfast. For an all day tasty filler with baked beans, sausages, mushrooms, pork and egg nuggets, mini bacon burgers. <laughs> Look at that. So this was one pound and 80 pence. So let's, um, let's have a look at the packaging. So I'm going to be honest here, that does not look appetising. It doesn't, it doesn't to me and I'll eat pretty much anything, I'll be honest. So there is some nutritional information there. If you want to pause it and have a look, by all means, go ahead. Um, they are the ingredients, a few allergens. We've got wheat, egg, milk in there. Lots of ingredients. Beans, 29% tomatoes, 23% water pork. Sausages, 12% mushrooms, 6% bacon and egg bits, 5%. Bacon burger, 2.5%. And a lot of salt, I would imagine. Um, that is how you prepare it. You do it on the hob. Or you do it in the microwave. Got no fancy ring pull on top. I know that. Metal recycles forever. So what you need is a robust can opener. It seems to do the job. So I got me requests to do this. When I was doing my um, beans comparison. If you want to have a look at that. It'll be in my comparison playlist. I did, I did, I've done Heinz versus Branston versus really cheap beans. There it is, look. That's what you get. Is this food the future? So it's going in here. It's going on the hob. That is where, that, oh no. That is where it's going. Okay. We'll give that a wash. So we'll get this cooking, oh, I'll get it warmed up and I'll bring you back. So I can show you in a little bit more detail here now, there's your sausages look um, and you've got your sort of burgers and there's your mushrooms. Them mushrooms remind me of what we used to get in the forces when we were on exercise. We get tin mushrooms and obviously you've got your beans and your sauce. So it's done, um, it, you've got to have it on toast, haven't you? I know that the serving suggestion, it just shows in a bowl. I mean, but you've got to have it over some toast, haven't you? So that's what I'm going to do. And I know I've got a feeling that this is all going to taste the same as well. <laughs> you know, I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I've got a feeling about that. So I'll <laughs> have a look at that. See what you think. Let me know if you um, if you've um, eat this or have bought these before and, and had them. So I'm going to try it now. I'm going to chop the chop the bits and bobs open, and we'll have a look. There's your little um, egg in the middle of your your burger. So over the next coming days, you'll get videos coming through. I have, I think I've done about three videos and obviously that they were done before the really sad news. So ignore them. 
But when I say ignore them, ignore the the bits about going live on Friday night because I filmed them Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And this was filmed, this is filmed today, Friday, and it's going out Friday. It just wouldn't be right me putting them other videos out. Yeah, salty. Have a look at that. Try the sausage. Exactly the same taste as that burger with the egg in it. So these are mushroom. Slippery and salty. <laughs> and not really, not really tasting like a mushroom. There's a hint of a mushroom flavour in there, but that's it. Oh, that was very salty. A little salty mushroom. And there's the beans. Just very salty. It's all really salty. I'm not going to say that word anymore. I'm surprised we didn't have these when we were in the forces. We didn't, we, I think we had beans. In, I can't remember now. I know we had beans. I'm not sure if we had. I'm talking the early 90s here. So, you know, the old memory isn't as good as it used to be. But I don't know if we had tins of beans and sausages. I might be wrong. Please let me know if you know. Mm, the toast with butter is nice. How much salt is, it, is in there? Let's have a look in depth and let them just tell you the salt uh, contained. So per can serving, um, there's 3.25 grams of salt. Now that, I thought there'd be more than that to be honest. 442 calories. Um, and fat, 15.8 uh, grams of fat. 5.4 being a saturate. Protein is 20.5 grams of, of protein. Yeah, a few E numbers in there. Pork 39, bacon 44. I mean, it's bacon that, bacon. It's like a bacon burger. A bacon burger. All tastes the same whether it's bacon or, or pork. It's obviously infused all together. It's not something I'd buy, I wouldn't buy it again, to be honest. Not, not, not my cup of tea, that. I think if you a load of ketchup over the top of it, or brown sauce, or any sauce of, you know, to your liking, it might sort of cheer it up a bit, but it's not doing it for me, actually, today. And I wouldn't buy it again. Probably give it a 5 out of 10. It's just too salty. And I do like me salt, but and it's just all tastes the same. I wasn't expecting anything else, to be honest. So thanks for watching. A very sad, very sad time, I know. But so you've got to look look forward to the future now and and good times. It's it's sad. We, we get we will we'll mourn. We'll get over that, and then you know the spirits will rise. As you do, you've got to keep smiling. I always say that, you really have. I know my mum's in bits. So I'll take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.